What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well and of course I hope you're having a good week. So today's lesson we're going to be going over three principal concepts that you must understand as a trader. If you don't understand these things then you're very 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 unlikely to find consistency and profitability with your trading. The reason for that is because these three principles stand true to no matter what strategy you're trading. And as long as you understand them, then that can really help you to remove the fear and anxiety that many traders face uh, in the markets. And definitely will give you a lot more confidence to execute without any hesitation. So stick around and watch this video all the way to the end. And if you like it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, Turn on notifications and uh, yeah, let's get on with the show. So traders, there are three principal concepts that you must understand if you really want to start to remove that fear and anxiety emotions that are playing a big part in your inconsistency. Now, I'm not saying that these three things will be the be all and end all. It does require you to be obviously a very disciplined um very patient it requires you to have resilience so that you're not doing things you shouldn't be doing rather being patient and waiting for the things that you should be doing but i'm very confident that after sharing these with you you'll be able to have a really good overview of what it really means to be a successful trader and what it is you need to be looking for no matter what strategy you're trading so one of the first things that i want to point out um, obviously, most of you know that the market trends to the downside and also trends to the upside. Now, when the market is trending to the upside or to the downside, it's very visible um, that the market is heading in either or direction. But it's very difficult to trade in the direction of the market if you're not able to identify the best areas in the market to trade. So when we're trading a trend, let's say, we know that the best area in the market that you want to be trading is always going to be around the lower high areas. So we have a structural lower low, lower high, which we call the pullback phase, a new lower low, a lower high, which is the pullback phase, and a new lower low. In an uptrend, we have a new higher high, a higher low, which is a pullback phase, a new higher high, a higher low, which is a pullback phase, and a new higher high. So when we're trading a downtrend, the best areas in the market that you want to be getting in is always at the pullback phase, which we call the lower high. And in an uptrend, the best areas that you want to be getting in is the higher low, which is the pullback phase in an uptrend. Now, I'm going to share with you how you can identify that, but what I need you to understand right off the bat is that this is the most pinnacle area in the market. The reason for this is because if we know the market's in a downtrend and price is making a lower high, and we start to see confluences and information that, let's say in this example, yen is strong, euro is weak, we have multiple wick rejections, there's a very high chance that price can continue bearish. If the market is in an uptrend and price creates that higher low or pullback phase and we get those confluences, wick rejections, bullish engulfing candles, then we know that there's a very high chance price will make the new higher high. Now, what I want to point out, which is very important, is that even though the lower high may be formed or the higher low may be formed, you still have scenarios where price will pull back and stop you out, will continue to pull back even if you think it's going to go down. But these are the areas or times in the market when, of course, you just take the loss. What you're aiming for as a trader is to make sure that you're taking these trades consistently, confidently at the lower highs and higher lows in the with the idea that price is going to continue to make a new lower, lower, lower or higher, higher high. And then eventually what will happen, traders, is your risk to reward ratio will be the most powerful tool or asset that will play a part in your consistency because you may lose one and you may lose two. But the more you consistently hit those trades and execute, the likelihood is when the market is trending, you will get into a trade that wins and then the risk to reward ratio will play in your favor. So please remember this. The most important thing to understand is that you must build confidence in knowing that when a lower high or a higher low is formed, there's a very high chance price will make a new lower 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 low or higher high the next principle i need you to understand is that the market will respect key levels so if the market is in an uptrend and price is making new higher highs 
whatever it does, whether it makes a clear high or low or not, as long as you are identifying that price is holding a key level, this is a prime opportunity for you to be taking a trade. It does not matter if you take a trade and it loses. What you have to understand about this principle is that as long as price is respecting the key level, there's a very high chance price will continue in the direction that it is headed towards. Again, you may take a trade and lose. It is what it is, traders. But it is mandatory that you understand that the pinnacle area in these scenarios is to hit these trades at key levels. Not in the middle, not at the top, at key levels. And that goes for the same with sales. If the market is trending to the downside and price comes back to a key level, then you wanna be making sure that you are hitting these trades at these key levels. Now, again, you may take a trade and it may break back in. You may take a trade and it may pull back. You may take a trade and it just totally reverses on you. But if you consistently take trades at key levels in the market, there is a very high chance that you will become a consistent and profitable trader. What you have to understand is that it's not about winning every single trade. It is about taking the trades when the trade setups form and allowing your risk to reward to have the biggest factor in your consistency and profitability as a trader. So you can lose one and you can lose another one. But if you take another trade and you hit a free R, you're now plus up one R. Catch your, or find yourself in a good week of trading when there's lots of volume and guess what happens traders? You're going to make a lot of money. So be consistent. Make sure you're hitting your trades at those key levels. The next and final principle that I really need you to understand is this. If the market is finding resistance or support at key levels within a range, understand this. This is an accumulation phase where price is either collecting buy orders or sell orders. If price decides to break out of a structural high or a structural low, this is the third and final principle. You need to be hitting those sells or buys. Again, even if you hit the sell and you lose a trade, it is what it is. If you hit the buy and you lose the trade, it is what it is. You're not going to win all of them. But the principle that you must understand that if price is trapped and it finally breaks out, there's a very high chance that the volume has kicked in in line with the direction that it's broken out of. And there's a much higher chance price will continue in that direction. And the same goes for a trending market. If the market is trending to the downside and it's finding some sort of support and it cannot get out of this level and then it finally breaks out, you must take these cells. It doesn't matter whether it's the perfect setup, whether you have the perfect stop loss placement or the perfect entry, a simple candle close will be enough for you to execute this trade because it is the most important factors that you must consider as part of the three principles. If price breaks out of a level where it's failed to break out for a very long period of time, there's a very high chance that it will continue in that direction. And the same goes for an uptrend. If price starts to get trapped in an uptrend and then eventually we break out, you must hit those buying opportunities. Again, you can lose these trades. Price can turn back and break back in. It can reverse on you. It doesn't matter. You have to understand these three principles because if you don't trade as you're going to find yourself hesitating to execute because you cannot find the perfect patterns or setups, the perfect entries or stop loss placements. What you must rely on are the principles and we'll repeat these principles again. If the market is in a downtrend, make sure you are looking for those lower high opportunities. However you find them, just find them. But you're looking for areas where price is showing signs of multiple wick rejections in anticipation of a new lower low being formed. The same goes for an uptrend. If the market is in an uptrend and price creates what seems to be that higher low, then you need to execute that trade. You are looking for price to create again those multiple wick rejections in anticipation of that new higher high. If the market is, let's say, showing signs that it's failing to break above a resistance level in the market and you are finding those sort of wick rejections, you must take that sell because key levels are very important. And if you follow them and you believe in them as core principles as part of your trading, key level trades are the most powerful. And the same goes for an uptrend, a different scenario here. Let's say we break above a key level in the market and price comes back to this level and you start to see those multiple wick rejections, you must buy because we are at a key level and this is the principle you must follow. The final example, as we just mentioned, is if the market is trapped. If the market is trapped within a range, 
this is an accumulation phase in the market or a distribution phase where orders are being collected if the market breaks to the upside or to the downside you must buy it or sell it it is a simple principle because the volume has kicked in and the same goes if the market is in a downtrend and it's failing to break some of the structural lows and then eventually you get that breakout you must take that sell because the principle is this the trend is down the volume has been initiated and now there's a very high chance we continue bearish and finally the same goes for an uptrend if the market is in an uptrend finds resistance and cannot break the structures and then eventually you get that break above the structure it's very important that you take that buy because the market is in an uptrend and the volume has kicked into the upside, there's a very high chance that we continue bullish. I do wish that I had this much more clearer for you. Maybe I'll create something and provide a PDF and post it on my Instagram, but you understand the points here. These are the three principles you must understand. The first principle is this. If the market is in a downtrend, hit those lower highs. If the market is in an uptrend, hit those higher lows. If the market is finding resistance at a key level, take those buys or sells. And if the market is trapped within a range or finding resistance at support and you finally have that breakout, take those trades. Those three principles will be the core principles on any strategy that you trade. Believe me, I know this. I've been trading for a very long period of time. Every concept and principle out there is based on one of these core principles. And these will really help you to become a very consistent and profitable trader. So without further ado, let's look at a couple of examples. So the first example here, we're going to look at Euro Yen. Now you can see that the overall sentiment of this market has pushed into the down, uh, has been pushing to the downside. Here we have an area in the market where price has just broken the structural low. So you'll see this area here. This is the break close below the level. Now we have what we call the pullback phase, and you'll see the volume in this market was really strong bullish. You have the indecision, and then look what you have: a really nice strong wick rejection with a bearish body close you want to be taking this trade immediately as price closes again this trade could lose traders believe me i know it can lose but the point is this when you identify these trades you must hit them you must execute because the more you allow fear to take over and make you hesitate taking trades there's a very high chance that you are not going to be consistent because you're not taking all the trades you should be taking but we have a clear identifier mark of a lower low lower high formation here as part of this downtrend, we see the pullback phase, the um, decrease in volume from the bullish side, increase in bearish volume, and now you take the trade with an indication of a wick rejection, probably yen strength, etc., etc. And now you have a really nice lower high formation selling opportunity here. Risk to reward will play a massive factor in the long run. Whether you lose some or you win some, if you hit them as often as you see them, then I'm telling you now, you will become very consistent and profitable. One thing you wanna be identifying when looking for sales is V-shaped formations in a downtrend or reversal v-shaped formations in the downtrend and when you're looking for buys in an uptrend you want to see clear v-shaped formations in an uptrend if you do not get these v-shaped formations or these reversal v-shaped formations as part of the pullback potential continuation phase you do not take the trade in this scenario you would not take the trade because you do not see a clear v formation but in this scenario you have a nice pullback and then a potential v formation here and if you take a look at this you will see we have a really nice bearish close here. We have strong bullish uh, momentum to the upside, a depletion. We have a wick rejection here. You now have a sell stop opportunity and you are just anticipating that v, uh, v formation to kick in to see the market continue bearish. And then as you can see here, you have a nice winning trade. So let's move on to the second example, but just understand this. Make sure you are hitting your lower highs and higher lows. It doesn't matter if it's the perfect setup or not, whether it has everything that you want it to have. Just hit those trades and let your risk to reward ratio do the work for you. Second example here, we're going to be looking at key level trades. Now, this is the analysis that we called out on Sunday. So if anybody took this trade, congratulations. We were looking for price to trade below this level. And if we didn't, we was waiting for the break close above once you have that break close above you're looking for those key level trades at the support level so that's the level where price is just broken above so if we scale down let's say to our 30 minute time frame what can we see here 
we can see that the overall sentiment of the market has been pushing bullish we have higher highs and higher lows in this scenario what we're looking for the market to do is now come back to this level as le a level of support it doesn't matter if you get the perfect entry or not traders you must be buying off for support levels if the market is holding so now we put the stop loss below this level here we have our first entry because we have an indication of a bullish close we go for our trade in the scenario we're not going to be talking about management but here is our first trading opportunity if this is not a deep enough pullback and you are waiting for price to come back into this key level here then this is the entry that you're going to be taking where price has created that bullish close again stop loss below and now we have a better risk reward ratio trade now am i worried whether this is the perfect setup or not absolutely not traders all i'm looking for is for price to respect key levels as part of the second principle and you have that here the trend is up. Price is broken above a major level in the market at 67.51. We're holding above. Look for those wick rejections, indecision, bullish candle closes, and execute. You will not win every single trade, but your risk toward ratio will do the work for you in the long run. Do not counter trend trade. That is one thing you shouldn't do. But if you're trading in line with the trend, you must execute with zero fear. So the second principle is take your trades at key levels, no matter what. Let's move on to the third and final example. So our third and final example is Aussie dollar USD. And again, this was another trade we called out on Sunday. So if you took this trade, congratulations. We was looking for price to trade below 72.33. And if we didn't, we was looking for the break above. In this scenario, traders, this is a very, very simple trading opportunity. You can see that the market has pushed strong bullish into this key level. We have price breaking above. And now what we want to be doing is using scaling down techniques. We have an identifier mark here on the hourly time frame that price has been failing to break this level for a long period of time. We can see since the 25th of February, a good week leading up until this point, price was trading below. We had a huge gap down in the market. Price filled the gap. We have evidence across the board that we have Aussie dollar strength and at the start of this week we had USD weakness. Now what we're looking for is for price to show us that it is continuing in the momentum. Let's clear this chart that the market is continuing in this momentum here which is in line with this previous behavior. We are looking for that close above that key level here traders and what you must do is execute this trade with zero fear. And as you can see Price is broken above the level in line with the trend and we execute the trade and now we have a 4R win. If you're not going for 4R and you're just going for 3R, you have a 3R win. Now again, you are not going to win every single one of these trades, traders. Price may break back in. Price may pull back and stop you out. It may make a new high or low. It may come back to make a double bottom. But as long as you identify that these trades exist and is a key principle to your success as a trader, along with the two other principles, then you will make money and you will become consistent and very, very profitable. We have another example here. We have a level in the market where price failed to break for a very long period of time. Let's make sure we're being safe rather than sorry and we account for these wicks. You have that strong break above that key level. Here now price is broken above a key level for the first time in a long time and now you have another trading opportunity. At its peak you have a 1 to 4 risk toward ratio trade. Again this trade could lose but it doesn't matter. You're following the key principles which is our final principle in the three principles that you're learning today and that is once price breaks above a key level of resistance or support in line with a good trend or out of a consolidation, wait for the close and execute with zero fear. So traders, you can see I'm super passionate about this because I'm telling you now, it doesn't matter what strategy you're trading out there. Near enough, 99.9% .9 of those strategies are based on these three principles. Those three principles being hit those lower highs and higher lows in anticipation of a new higher high and lower low. If the market is respecting a key level of support or resistance in line with a clear trend or at least a somewhat trend, you can be identifying those from currency strength, currency weakness, correlation, whatever it may be. Take those trades off of key levels. And the final principle is if the market breaks out of a strong resistance or support after it's been held for quite a period of time and you get a good close in the direction that it's broken out of, execute those trades. You will not win them all, but you do not need anything more than what I've just told you today. And I can promise you hand on my heart, there is no strategy out there that does not have these three core principles as part of a strategy or the strategy. So I do hope that you really find these useful. I hope you find some sort of reassurance and 
comfort in knowing that trading doesn't need to be difficult. Just use these three core principles. Remember them. Say them out loud as affirmations. I don't know what you have to do, but just remember them and don't be scared to execute. Because the more you execute, the more you leverage your risk to reward and give it that power and substance that it needs to make you a consistent, profitable trader without you having to do anything other than just executing on what you know needs to be executed on based on these three principles. So I do hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button for me, please turn on notifications. Actually, the other way around, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications. And as I always say, continue to trust the process. Thank <laughs> you.